Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today about 49 for the French Grand Prix. In the last video we were at Silverstone where we had a very successful result and we're looking to build on that here at the Circuit Ball Ricard. But before we start, this is the grid. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid we have Norris, Russell, Kevin Magnussen, and Gasly, Sainz, Albon, Fernando Alonso, and Daniel Ticktum, Brown, Ocon, Mick Schumacher, and Sonoda, Verstappen, Stroll, Guan Yu Zhou, and Oscar Piastri. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Schwartzman and Nicholas Latifi. But finish strategy, pretty the one stop like it always seems to be on this game. Let's go to the French Grand Prix. Here we go then to the French Grand Prix. There's five lights. Very long hard but we are away eventually. There's lights out and away we go. And we've had an absolute shocker. We've been absolutely mugged here at the start. And we're gonna have to go over the car at the start to avoid contact. We've come round the outside of the red bull, we've nearly dropped it. Sonoda ahead, can't be fair to me, go to the inside now. Sonoda tries to chop us off, but now we're on the inside, to the outside now, down the inside. What about it on the inside of Schumacher? Not. We have lost. We're really dropping it there, that's so tricky. But now we're going to be left defenseless against Sonoda as he comes back at us. We're going to try and cover this slipstream, but luckily the red ball to the inside of it briefly. We're free wide. We hold around the outside. He and that's the red ball. With the staff He hasn't got Sinoda. And now he's actually going to send a right at the inside. And Sinoda's followed him through. And we're being mugged even more. We've lost five places, four places even, at the start. No, no, it is not a very good start to the Grand Prix. Can we get the exit here? Here we go, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, but we don't think we're getting close enough, are we? No, we keep our foot in, no. We're going to wait for this Leonardo to take his race in line. And we're going to try and be very sneaky at the inside. And we've done it. And Sonoda's still there. We're going to have to leave him the room. We've gone wide. Sonoda, side by side, we are on the exit. We're going to try and push him. All the way wide, but he's still there. He has the inside line again. But that is now going to turn to the inside line for us. There's a yellow flag. What's up in there? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's Albon! Albon's brilliant, there's popped! And we've gone blank. And we have got Sonoda in all of that. Ah, oh, the backhand, what are you doing? I stepped out on him and wouldn't let me put my foot down, and now I've lost up to Sonoda again. And he's that at my inside, it's, it's an Alfa Romeo. We've got to back off, we've gone so wide. But we've got a lot of spare energy, okay to use it. Go away. Go away. Yeah, we've got to get a Sinoda again. We're three seconds behind June, I don't know. We're gonna surprise him. We're gonna break late. He's turned in on us though. And he's kept the position. That's not on. We're clearly up the inside here. Yeah. You've got to leave me racing room now. It's a joke. I'm gonna get the 
happened tonight at all. Can't take it, and we're getting this time. We're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. And we're gonna go to the inside, but he turned in on us again! Keep a pin, keep a pin, keep a pin, duck okay, it's alright. There's a gap at the end, so... It's shut that door firmly shut. I should have gone to the inside then. I would have had it if I went to the inside. That's the places I've been. He's gonna go wide, and now we're gonna hug it on the inside. Oh, finally, the job's done. Great maneuver, you made it look so easy. Right now, he's gonna keep it So we come on to the end of lap 17 to make a one and only stop of the day. From the mediums onto the hard tyres, and I think looking back at that battle with Sonoda, very intense battle, I think my live commentary there of him turning in was pr probably a bit premature. We were a long, long way back on both of those occasions, but we need to see where we will come out. These tyres are going to take a while to get up to temperature. With closing on McTree Macker and the Williams, we were just about keeping Sonoda back at bay. So we'll see how, where we come out compared to those guys in the next couple of laps. Ended up the inside side, and we both beat him out. As as it was before the stops. Okay, good work. With on car tires, so he's going to drop back. And now, can we have a look at Mick Schumacher? Come on, Charlie. Come on. Got to get it sit here. The rims are slow. On, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, he's defending fresh air, we're way too far back. We're gonna try and do what we did. Later. We're so close now, come on. We've got the exit, we're closing in, we're closing in this time. We're gonna go to the outside, to the inside. Side by side with a flat right hander. And we are past Schumacher. And now can we get after Dan Tickton? Three and a half seconds up the road. Let's see. Only got the back of Dan Tickton. He's taken a couple of laps. We've been chipping away, but with his DRS now. Can we get close enough? We can clear him. We're inside the top ten. We're kind of back to where we the DRA. All over the back of them. We're going to do what we did to Mick Schumacher with the help from Sonoda. We tried to go to the outside, but we're up the inside of him. We're going to try and hold it. But, job done then. On TikTok. So, for some reason, Perez 
has been pitted twice by Red Bull and has struggled to make his way back through the field because this isn't the easiest track to overtake on. We had pulled away from Dan Ticton but only just that we were just about keeping him at bay and we didn't really have the pace to catch those in front but Perez in the dying couple of laps could he get past us and Dan Ticton he's on the outside of Ticton here you can see the gap back to us he's past Ticton probably a bit easier due to the AlphaTauri being the sister team to Red Bull but at the front Charles Leclerc for once isn't crashing in Paul Ricard and comes home to win the French Grand Prix the head of Lando Norris great weekend for McLaren Sight is going to make it a Ferrari double podium he comes home for third and we are going to have a disappointing day we really really got held up by Sonoda that ruined our race but we are going to still pick up one point in the end just ahead of Sergio Perez and that's the end of the race we'll see you in part four mate that red suit familiar to fans across the globe a world-class win for a world-class team Ferrari do it again So that's been your French Grand Prix, I hope you enjoyed the live commentary as well alongside that. Charles Leclerc your winner after we denied him last time out at the British Grand Prix. Good result for McLaren as well, fourth as well for Pierre Gasly. George could only manage P6, Max with a good recovery drive getting himself up into P5. But our race was really dictated by our poor start. We flew away from Sonoda as soon as we got past him but getting past him Alpine so quick in a straight line but it means for the championship we have fallen further back again basically meaning Silverstone's great win was completely irrelevant really in terms of the championship now Leclerc with that win has jumped me and Perez in the championship Max has a slight dent in it from Leclerc's win in terms of the constructors Red Bull still dominating Ferrari have taken a little bite out of their lead it's a poor day for us as well mainly because of me George was there but I hope you've enjoyed this video this race we have one more race before the summer break in Hungary but until that one goodbye